In the heart of Ghana's northern region, something extraordinary is unfolding, a project that promises to change lives and illuminate the future of an entire community. Nestled in the quiet farming village of Galgu, just outside the Yendi municipality, rows upon rows of solar panels glisten under the sun, symbolizing hope, progress, and transformation. This is the Galgu Solar Power Plant, a $59 million investment that is 75% complete, poised to provide sustainable energy to Yendi and its surrounding communities. As construction speeds toward completion, the excitement in the air is palpable. This project is just about electricity. It's about building a future where power shortages become a thing of the past, businesses flourish, and opportunities abound for generations to come. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. Leading this ambitious effort is the Bui Power Authority, um, under the leadership of its chief executive officer, Mr. Back Samuel Kofi Zamesi. On a warm Monday morning, he arrives on site, accompanied by a technical team and the member of parliament for Yendi, Alhaji Farouk Aliu Mahama. They are here not just to inspect the progress, but to witness the realization of a dream, a dream powered by the sun. As they walk along the rows of panels and inspect the electrical components, there's a sense of pride and determination. This is more than just a project. It's a movement toward energy independence and sustainable growth for Ghana. Construction of the plant is being handled by Messrs First Sky Construction Limited, a wholly Ghanaian-owned company, on a build-operate model. The speed and efficiency of the work have impressed everyone involved, including Mr. Zamesi, who pauses during the tour to share his thoughts with reporters. His voice resonates with optimism as he commends the contractors for their dedication to meeting the tight deadline. We are pleased with the progress so far, he says with satisfaction. This plant is crucial to our mission of expanding solar energy across the country. We are on track to have it fully operational by November, and it will bring much needed relief to the people of Yendi and beyond. The significance of this project cannot be overstated. For too long, power shortages have plagued the northern region, disrupting daily life and limiting economic growth. But this solar plant aims to change that, ensuring a reliable power supply for households, schools, and businesses throughout the municipality. The energy generated here will feed directly into the national grid, expanding access to electricity for more communities. For farmers and small business owners, this means better opportunities to store goods and operate without interruptions. For students, it means longer hours to study under the glow of electric lights. For everyone, it means a brighter future, one built on sustainable energy. As Mr. Zamesi continues his inspection, he emphasizes the importance of maintaining the plant's operations to ensure uninterrupted power. Bui Power will ensure that this facility remains updated and fully functional, he declares. This is just the beginning. We are committed to building more solar plants across the country, harnessing the abundant sunlight that Ghana is blessed with. His words reflect a broader strategy, one that aligns with Ghana's push toward renewable energy and reduces reliance on traditional power sources. Walking alongside Mr. Dizamesi is Alhaji Farouk Aliu Mahama, the passionate member of parliament for Yendi. For him, this project represents more than just infrastructure. It's a step toward realizing his new Yendi city vision, an ambitious agenda to transform Yendi into a thriving center of development and opportunity. This plant will create jobs for our youth and power new businesses, he says with conviction. It's not just about electricity, it's about empowering our people and unlocking their potential. Alhaji Mahama speaks with the confidence of a man who understands the transformative power of energy. Over the years, he has worked tirelessly to connect more communities in his constituency to the national grid, knowing that access to electricity is a catalyst for growth. This plant will ease the power challenges that have held us back for so long, he notes. When completed, it will not only serve Yendi, but also extend to the surrounding areas, providing a stable energy supply that will drive development. There's a quiet sense of accomplishment among the team as they walk through the construction site, watching engineers fine-tune the installation of photovoltaic panels. 
The plant is not just a collection of equipment. It is a symbol of hope and progress for the entire region. Residential units are also being built to house the plant's operational staff, ensuring that the facility is well-maintained for the long term. This holistic approach reflects the careful planning behind the project, ensuring that it will remain a vital part of the community for years to come. The sun begins to dip toward the horizon as the inspection draws to a close, casting a warm glow over the site. For the people of Yendi, the Galgu Solar Power Plant represents a new dawn. Soon, the darkness that has defined so many nights will be replaced by light, light that powers dreams and fuels progress. Farmers will have reliable energy to run their equipment, shop owners will keep their doors open longer, and students will study without fear of power outages. This project is more than just infrastructure. It is a beacon of opportunity, illuminating the path to a brighter, more sustainable future. As Mr. Zamesi and Alhaji Mahama prepare to leave, they reflect on the journey that brought them here and the road that lies ahead. The November deadline is fast approaching, and with it comes the promise of a grand inauguration, a moment that will mark the beginning of a new chapter in Yendi's story. But beyond the ribbon-cutting ceremony lies a greater responsibility, ensuring that this plant remains a force for good, driving growth and improving lives for generations to come. The Galgu Solar Power Plant is more than just a project. It is a testament to what can be achieved when vision, expertise, and determination come together. It presents Ghana's bold ambition to embrace renewable energy and build a future that is resilient and green. And as the final panels are installed and the switch is flipped, the people of Yendi will not just receive electricity, they will receive hope, opportunity, and a brighter tomorrow, powered by the sun. This is not the end of the story, only the beginning. For the people of Yendi, for the northern region, and for Ghana as a whole, the future has never looked brighter. With every bolt tightened and every wire connected, the Galgu Solar Power Plant stands as a beacon of progress, proving that when communities come together with a shared vision, there are no limits to what they can achieve. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.